Hello friends, Samuel Graham doing TCGs yet again. We've got another box of Frontiers from Legion's Realms at War. Um, like I said in the last one, I'm re recording this one back to back with the previous one I did. So I'm still uh, riding the high of that one. Um, hey, there's another Angel Warlord. This one is a duplicate for me. So that'll go into the availability for, for somebody if they're hunting one down. Tried to set it off screen. Let's leave it there. We pulled it. It's good times. Um, so yeah, that video I pulled uh, Aphidian, the uh, the Elysian rarity card, um, and it, it shocked me. Like I was just flipping through a pack, like eh, didn't expect anything else to pop up, and boom, Aphidian. So that's pretty thrilling. Still riding that high. Let's see if we can. Uh, get some more spice. Um, it was not a god box, as they say. Um, I did not have a um, exalted in that box. I did have two renowns along with the Ophidian. One of them was the uh, angel, which will be, oh, all right, there's a demon essence. Um, which will be going into the deck that I'm hoping to give my first drive uh, tomorrow night. All right, I'm gonna set these over here. Um, see if I can get a better focus on the cards that are actually shiny. Um, biggest thing I want to see in this box, we got the hero realm. Um, I would love, love, love to see one. If I could uh, beg for two. Hey, there's the uh, orc essence. One or two copies of the angel essence uh, to swap into that deck would be fantastic. I ripped that pack way more than I usually do. Uh, so yeah, that would be the biggest thing that I am hoping to see at this point in this opening would be Angel Essence. Ooh, Pentacea's Gifted Sprite. That's a cool looking card. That's the thing though. This is only like my fourth, fourth box of this set. So even with it being the smaller blister set, not like, you know, like 180 cards there about, I think it is. Um, There's a lot of this set that I haven't seen yet. Um, seen or pulled Scorch Realm. Boop. Gale of Glacier. I don't think I've seen this card yet either. It's a dwarf card. All dwarf warriors on your side of the field gain frostbite until end of turn. You can eradicate this card from your discard pile and pay Bloodborne. Increase a single cooldown by two turns. All right. That's interesting. So that is a fortified. I'm going to scoot these back up a little bit now that I see where my hands are sitting. So you can see some of the shininess over my hands. If you've got to deal with seeing me and seeing my hands, you should at least get to see the shiny along with it, right? Oh, well, there is an exalted. My uh, big stuff has not been flipped over largely. Was a Fidian flipped over? I didn't even notice. I think it may have been, and that's why it was so shocking. Um, but most of my big stuff has not. I've been seeing my rares flipped over and not my big stuff. So we got an overflow magic. Reset all alchemy points of all guardians back to their starting AP. When Then if you do, all guardians consume abilities cannot be used this turn. You can use it once per game. Okay. That's another really cool looking card, but that is a big old hit for today. That's a fantastic. Uh, again, doing this back to back with that other opening. Uh, seeing that right after seeing the um, 
the Legion. Oh, and then next pack, we get ourselves a Renown. Magic Void Collapse. Non-token warriors on the field lose and cannot gain keyword abilities. Once per turn, you can pay Consume 20. Negate the activation of a Fortified and destroy it. Then if you do, draw one card. Can control one face-up copy of this. Whew. Well, as I was saying, um, I'm already pretty dang happy. It's going to be tough to beat the... Like, getting all this hitting hard and fast um, with the awesome hard-to-find cards. Boo, back to a rare again. Well, maybe. I guess I should learn my lesson that that's not always true, but it is true this time. We got the Fandorian War Chief Falcona. Falcon A. Pretty sure Falcona is right. Working through there. Not even quite halfway through this box yet. I'm guessing we've hit most of the uh, craziness that we're going to with already seeing an exalted and a renown. Here's a obelisk of power. But who knows? How crazy would it be if this was a god box? After already pulling a Fidian in the last box I opened, um, if rearing its head was an even bigger <laughs> Hit. Infinite Dark. That's a gorgeous card. That's incredible looking. This set is so pretty. Art can suck me into a game um, quite a bit. Just kind of looking at it and seeing what's going on. Um, and this set from the beginning did that. Or this game from the beginning did that. But... uh. This set is just doing it even more. Arcana's Blessings. Like, everything has just looks better and better with every release they've had from Ravage, Ravage Lands and then on into Bountiful Harvest. Now this. Um, pretty incredible looking stuff. Windmill, of course. I've seen a bunch of windmills. That's one of the rares I think I've seen the most of at this point. Ride at the Rainbow Wind. So I've got, what, six packs left. Come on, Angel Essence. Come on. Let me see it. Hero Essence. First of that one I've seen today. All right. We hadn't pulled a whole lot of essences in this box. Maybe that means they're saving up for me to get the, the one I'm missing at the end here. Wishful thinking? Absolutely. Also may be true. Sure. We'll find out. So I start knocking stuff over. That's a cool looking card too. Good grief. Bolster the Fallen Forces. Oh, hey! There we go. So I already have a copy of this Renown because this Renown was my spoiler card. Treasury of the Fallen Priestess. 
You can only play this card if your demon warrior lord is Onoskalus, the fallen angel priest. I was having a hard time reading it on screen. Once per turn, Bloodborne. Yeah, this thing is still a cool card. It that that might I am lacking a lot of the stuff like I'm I'm lacking the guardian and you know the better synergy and stuff like that to really dive into making that deck but it'll be the it'll be the next one that I try to acquire the cards to build the deck for I think Windermere Island uh, I think that's my current game plan for it is um to do that because that card just is too much fun i loved the art on it but then just the the effect on it too seems really potent um and attracted me a little bit to what the uh gameplay style for that might be hey there's one it may not be the two but in my next to last pack, we finally get ourselves an Angel Essence. We will take that with everything else I have pulled today. I would be foolish to complain about that. So this is our last pack. And let's see what our last flippy do is. I don't think I've seen this. Titanic interruption so yeah um another really solid a solid two boxes in a row um getting the uh exalted overflow magic seeing my spoiler card pop up again love to see it the treasury of the fallen priestess and a Magic Void Collapse for Renowns. We got our Angel Buddy Michael as the uh, box topper. And our usual excellent shininess beyond. Love it. Another great opening. Hope you had a good time watching it. Uh, some more excitement and surprises for me. Um, and I, I hope for you as well. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if in fact you do. Uh, check out Legions. Um, you know, the, the team over there, Lord Taylor. All hail Lord Taylor. Um, they're all, you know, it's a smaller team than I thought. So I say they all, but, you know, the team does some great work and is really legitimately community focused. Um, and and they have impressed me mightily. Um, and then the product speaks for itself. Um, so check them out if you haven't yet. Um, if, you know, my videos are the most you've done, hit up, hit up, you know, do the quick Google search, hit up their website, give them a look. I'll probably try and get it in my uh, description here too but uh yeah check them out if, if you're at all into games or if you just want to check out the art for everything in one it just looks incredible they do fantastic work but anyway thank you very much y'all i appreciate your time try not to take it for granted and have a great rest of your day bye y'all